the La Lamita Chapel, Mission, Texas. La Lamita, which means Little Hill in Spanish, is given the name to a low rise in the otherwise flat Rio Grande Valley of Texas and to the ranch surrounding it. At least from 1852, the time of the second entry of the Oblates into Texas, missionaries made regular pastoral stops at La Lamita Ranch. Father Pierre Foyer Parasol and Father Pierre Eves Carolum acquired the ranch as a gift to the Oblates from Mr. Rene Guyard of Reynosa, Mexico. February 27, 1861. It consisted of a Spanish land grants, portions 55 and 57, to which portion 56 was added by purchase in 1883. In 1767, King Charles III of Spain had ordered 400 portions to be surveyed and granted, each measuring about three quarters of a mile long along the riverfront and from 11 to 16 miles inland. According to the Oblate Ranch, covered about 20 square miles. In 1865, the missionaries built a small chapel and living quarters on the ranch to serve as a mid valley stopover for their horseback circuits, while Brownsville and Roma remained as the principal bases. When the Rio, Rio Grande was made one of its frequent changes in course, the tiny settlement was rebuilt at its present location, the base of the small hill. In 1899, it became the residential mission center for all of the towns and ranches in Hidalgo County. The new mission complex was centered on a 12-foot by 24-foot chapel, later lengthened to 40 feet, whose whitewashed walls, almost two feet thick, were built of sandstone quarried from the nearby hill. The floor was of brick, crude benches filled both sides of the church, a small aisle down the center allowing passage to a sanctuary dominated by a large picture of Our Lady of Guadalupe. A small Lord's Grotto clumsily filled the right rear corner of the nave. Over the sole entrance, a shingled roof supported a wooden bell tower. Forming a small plaza, with the chapel were several other buildings. A five-room residence, a three-room room visitor's house that included a small general store for the local people because the nearest store was about 10 miles away, a cookhouse with an outdoor oven shaped like an igloo, a shed for the community horse and a buggy, a blacksmith shop and stables to serve the horses used by the missionaries, the ranch hands, and Wells Fargo. La Lomita was a station on the Wells Fargo line between Brownsville and Laredo. Some distance off was a windmill over a well of somewhat sour water that we used for drinking and also to serve as a crude flush toilet in the outhouse. On one side of the plaza were a dozen thatched roof huts for the vaqueros who worked the ranch and their families, so placed as to leave room for a wide wagon entrance to the plaza. Many cities in Texas began this way, with a church, a store, residences forming a square. La Lamita was in fact a small town. On the ranch surrounding the compound, the Oblates raise cattle, water, and crops. Grapevines produce well at La Lomita, but birds and animals and people ate the fruit before it could be harvested. However, as late as 1908, there was still a full field planted with grapes and bananas. In 1907, the Oblates were also raising figs, vegetables, grains, grapefruit, lemon, wild dates flourished on the ranch presaging the magic valley of the agricultural future. In 1907, the Oblate province sold 17,000 acres of La Lamita Ranch to developers, at a time when railroads and irrigation were starting to transform the dry ranching area into fertile farmland. The city of Mission, located three miles away and named after the La Lamita Chapel, was built entirely on what had been Oblate land. The congregation reserved space there for a parish church, Our Lady of Guadalupe, and set aside a city block as a public recreation area, still called in 1990 Oblate Park. People from outlying areas moved into Mission and La Lamita fell gradually into disuse. The province built St. Peter's Novitiate in 1912 atop a little hill itself thereby permanently shifting the ranch headquarters away from La Lomita. 
1928, the provincial father Theodore Labour had the old mission site cleaned up and restored. But after a hurricane in 1933 destroyed most of the outbuildings, only the chapel, outdoor oven, and well remained intact. From then until 1961, when the novitiate was moved to Sarita, Texas, the property was periodically cleaned up by the novitiate county community and on occasion used for mass, rosary, and catechism. Since 1961, the chapel and oven from the heart of a tourist park leased to and maintained by the city of Mission. The former novitiate was leased to Lalamita Farms, a mental health and mental retardation center. Much of the riverfront is federal wildlife refuge. In recent years, the former novitiate property was sold to the Diocese of Brownsville, becoming first a residence for college seminarians and then a Catholic high school. This was by Father William Watson, OMI for the Historical Dictionary of the Missionary Oblates of Mary Immaculate, Volume 2, Oblates Outside France at the Time of the Founder, with some additions by Father Robert Wright, OMI. Sources of Bibliography, 1, Southern U.S. Province Archives, San Antonio, Texas, 2, All Hands, J.L. Gringo Builders, Privately Printed, Iowa City, Iowa City, Iowa, Cleo Press, 1931. Three, Quinlevan Thomas, OMI, along the Oblate Trail, a tourist guide of Lalamita and other shrines in the Rio Grande Valley, 